Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with game four of my ALCS replay of, from 2005 between the Chicago White Sox and the California or Anaheim or Los Angeles Angels, whatever they were. And uh, this is game four, as I said, and you will have to check and see where we are in the series by going back and looking at the other three games um, so that I don't give that away so that you go back and watch those games. But here we are in game four, which is in California. Um, I have a makeshift scoreboard for this game, one that I made up myself. You see, I've got the uh, inning marker and the um, um, tracking the runs. Now, I want to point out down here it says home run total. This is not to say home run is in a home run over the fence. This is home run total. So right now you can see that's on zero. And you can see that the visitor run total is also on zero. So we will keep tracking those as runs are acquired. Hopefully there's no more than 20 runs because I only have up to 20 for each team. And also, uh, hopefully this game doesn't go beyond the 12th inning because I, my scoreboard only tracks through 12 innings. So we'll see what happens if we get to that point. But if you've watched any of the other games, one thing you know is that it's highly unlikely that any one of these teams is going to score 20 runs. So with that having been said, I think we should get on with it. Uh, today on the mound, and let me get these markers off the base pads. Uh, today on the mound for the Los Angeles Angels will be Paul Bird. And in 2005, Paul Bird was 12 and 11 with a 374 earned run average. And he will be going up against the White Sox, Jose Contreras, who in 2005 was 15 and 7 with a 361 earned run average. So similar statistics for both men, although Contreras had a much better win-loss record. So with that, we will lead off with Scott Podzednik. Uh, the Big Hurt is still injured for this game, so he is not playing. It will, in fact, be Carl Everett for him. But Podzednik is leading off against Bird. He gets a 6-3. That is a ground ball to the pitcher, and Bird throws him out. One, one away, Aaron Rowand. Gets a 310, which is a double one to 10 or a single. And that's going to be a single for Rowan. And uh, Canerco is up. He gets a 3 6. That's a strikeout. There's two down for the White Sox. And Carl Everett, the aforementioned Carl Everett, gets a 5 5, and that is a strikeout. And the White Sox go down in the top of the first. And we go, we move the marker to the bottom of the first. And um, I know I'm overshadowing third base, but we'll we'll deal with that when we get somebody to third base. Uh, Sean Figgins is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a walk. So Figgins is aboard. He is a double-A stealer. He's going to try to go to second. And he, I believe, makes it. Uh, at double A because uh, the catcher is um, the catcher is Perzinski and he's not very good with the arm no he is not a very good catcher so he does make it Garrett Anderson is up he gets a 3-8 that's a single double asterisk and scores a run so we do have a run for the home team See how that works? See how well that works? Vlad Guerrero is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a single one 18. And that is a single. There is still only, um, well, there's no outs. Actually, there are no outs still. Benji Molina is up. He gets a 4-6, which is a double one to five. That's going to be another run. It is a double, in fact. And uh, they will stop at, at third because they've got the merry-go-round going. And, uh, yeah, you can see the third base, so, yeah. And that is another run for the home team. And that brings to the plate Casey Kochman. 
he gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball, first base A. That's one away, runners hold. Adam Kennedy is up. He gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. That's two down. And Juan Rivera gets a 5-9, and that is a strikeout. But, as you can see, the home team has two runs. The Angels scored two in the bottom of the first, and we go to the top of the second. Jermaine Dye is up. He gets a 5-8. That is a strikeout. One away. Perzinski's up. He gets a 1-6, which is a home run. Brzezinski makes up for his not throwing out Figgins by hitting a home run. And so we do have a run for the home team. It's 2-1. to one. Creedy comes up. He gets a 6-7. That is a fly ball to right field. Two down. And Uribe gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to third base. But the White Sox do score a run. We go to the bottom of the second. Orlando Cabrera is up. He gets a 3-9, which is a single. Oh, wait. That's wrong team. Wrong team. So, got a man at first. Steve Finley up. He gets a 3-6, which is a double one or a single. Now the, the Angels are... They've got all kinds of stuff going on. That is a single double asterisk. And Sean Figgins is up with no outs and runners at the corners. That's a 5-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Now the White Sox need the double play by Garrett Anderson. Out of Garrett Anderson. No double play, but he does strike out. And Vlad Guerrero comes up and gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And the Angels, though they did have a... And also, I may at times refer to the Angels as the A's. Just because of the... Uh, you know, the, the A that I've got here, but um, anyway, um, they had a threat going and they didn't score. It's still 2-1 to one Angels in the top of the third with Tahito Taguchi, Tadahito Iguchi up. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a pop-out to shortstop. But Zednik gets a 3-4, which is a fly ball to the right fielder. That's two down. The top of the order again with... Uh, uh, with Bezednik was the top of the order again. And then Rowand is up, and he gets a 3-3, which is a walk. So there's a man aboard with Paul Canerico up, and he gets a 5-11, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 2 defensively, and that is a 14, which will be an out. And we go to the bottom of the third. Still 2-1 to one Angels. Molina up. He gets a 6-8. That is a strikeout, so Contreras has settled down a little bit since that rocky first inning. Kochman gets a 3-10, which is a double 1-6 to six or a single. That's going to be a double. So Kochman is up at second with one down. Adam Kennedy comes up. He gets a 4-12, which is a fly to right, two away. And Juan Rivera gets a 3-9, and that's a fly ball to center field and that is the end of the Angels third and we go to the top of the fourth. Carl Everett, this is a pretty pretty uh, decent way to keep score here, or keep track. 6-12 is a, uh, a line out to first base, one away. Kochman catching that screaming liner. Jermaine Dye comes up, gets 4-8, which is a single. So Dye is aboard with one down, and Perzinski comes up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out. He just misses by two rolls of the dice, or two dice, two whatever, that home run. And then 4-8 is another single. So with two down, the White Sox have runners at first and second, and Uribe at the plate, and he gets a 3-12, which is a foul out to the catcher. So the White Sox come away with... Zippolo there, and we go to the bottom of the fourth with Orlando Cabrera up. He gets a 3-4, and that's a line out to short. One away. Steve Finley gets a 5-7, and that is a ground to the second baseman. That's Iguchi. He's a 2. That's a 13. I believe that's an out, and it is. Two away, and whoa. 
All right, I'm back, and I have I got a replacement die. I don't know what happened to that one. Sean Figgins is up. He gets a 5.8, and that is a fly ball to center field. So the Angels get nothing there. We go to the top of the fifth. It is still 2-1. to one. Aguchi is up for the White Sox. He gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball to short, one away. Scott Bedzednik gets a 3-5, which is a single one to eight. And that is going to be a single. Only a 40% chance on that, but he got it. Aaron Rowan gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball right field, two away. And Canerco comes up and gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. So, nothing for the White Sox in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth with Garrett Anderson up for the White Sox. And Garrett Anderson gets a 2-8, which is a home run 1-13. to It is a double. And with Garrett Anderson on second, they are going to a sec. No, they're not. No, no. Vlad Guerrero's up. They are not sacrificing with Vlad Guerrero. 4-5, he strikes out, though. So there's one down and Molina up. He gets a 4-8. That's a walk. Two on, one out. Kochman up. 6-7 is a walk, and the bases are loaded. The White Sox are going to play the infield back and hope for the double play to get out of the inning with Kennedy up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. They might get it. He is, I believe... A two. That is, yeah, Uribe is a two, and that's probably not good. It isn't. It's a two base error. Two base error, and the Angels score two more runs and now lead four to one. And Juan Rivera is up. Now they'll play the infield in because they have to. Four eleven is a fly ball to the right fielder. He is a two. That's a ten. Not confident that that's good. That's an out five runner on third scores. So the runner scores and now the Angels have five and it is five to one. Orlando Cabrera is up. He gets a six five which is a home run one to fourteen and that is going to be a home run and now they lead seven to one. And uh, Steve Finley comes up. And he gets a 4-3, which is a fly out to left field. And uh, the left fielder is... Um, that's Pazednik. And he is a 2. That is a 13. And that is an out. And I think that's the third out. So I'm going to say that's the third out. Um, it's likely not going to hurt the Angels anyway, but we go to the top of the sixth. And uh, Carl Everett at the plate. He gets a 6-8, which is a pop-out to first base. Jermaine Dye gets a 2-8, which is a home run. Jermaine Dye gets, two, gets a second run on the board for the White Sox, and it's now 7-2. Krasinski comes up. He gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball to right, two away. And Creedy is at the plate, and he hits a 4-6, single one to 11. And it is a single. And Juan Uribe is up and gets a 3-8, and he strikes out. So they get no more run, or they do get one run on the home run. But we go to the bottom of the sixth. With the score still, um, Angels 7 and the White Sox, two, and Sean Figgins is up. He gets a four, six. That is a double one to five or a single. And that is a single, and there's going to be some action in the bullpen for the White Sox. I should have done this before. They are going to get uh, Luis Vizcaino up in the bullpen. Garrett Anderson up at the plate. He gets a 4-11, which is a fly ball to center. The center fielder is Rowand. He's a one or a two. 
he is a one. So that's an out, one away. Vlad Guerrero is up. He gets a 2-5, which is a ground ball, shortstop, double play, and the Angels are out of the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Um, did they get a... Did they get another run? No, they didn't get another run. I don't think they did, no. Um, uh, Iguchi is up at the plate. He gets a 3-10. That's a single. Bird is still going strong for the Angels here. Pizednik gets a 2-11, which is a pop out to second, one away. Rowan gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher, double play, and no runs come in. And there is a new pitcher for the White Sox as we go to the bottom of the seventh with the score 7-2 Angels. And Luis Vizcaino is, in fact, on the pitch for the White Sox now with Molina up at the plate. And he gets a fly ball to right, one away. Kochman gets a 3-4, which is a fly ball to right, two away. And Adam Kennedy gets a 5-5, five, five, and that is a strikeout. So the Angels get no runs in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. Canerco up for the White Sox. They get a 4-11. He gets a 4-11, which is a fly to left. The left fielder is Rivera, and he is a 2. And that is an out. One away. Carl Everett gets a 2-6, which is a pop out to first. Two away. They're missing the big hurt. And uh, Die gets a 1-10, and that's a line out to third. Although, in the real series... They didn't have Frank Thomas either. Um, as, I, as I remember, he was injured for the series, or most of the series. So Juan Rivera is up against Vizcaino in the bottom of the eighth. 6-7, it's a fly ball to center. Again, the Angels are leading 7-2. Orlando Cabrera is up. He gets a 6-9. That is a double one to 16. And that will be a double. Steve Finley is up with a man at second and one out, and he gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to first base, two away, and Sean Figgins is up. He gets a 3-9, and that is a fly to right. No runs come in for the Angels in the eighth, and we go to the top of the ninth with the White Sox behind by five runs by the score of 7-2. to two. Krasinski at the plate. He gets a 3-7. That's a ground ball to first. One away. Joe Creedy gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to second. Two away. And down to their last out, Uribe comes up, and he gets a 3-8, and that is a strikeout. And that is your final score with the Angels winning game for 7-2. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.